Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. Hi, my name is Sandy Lindstead, and my kennel name is Triumph Mini Bulls. I've always, I've always liked the Bull Terrier and Mini Bulls. Uh, I had Great Danes at the time, and uh, I'd gone to the pound with a friend of mine because he was getting a dog, and I saw this white Bull Terrier and absolutely had to have him. I named him Ziggy, brought him home. He was my very first Bull Terrier experience, and uh, he was. He was just such a cool, neat little dog. Uh, not little, but 50, 50, 60 pounds. And after the Great Danes passed away, uh, he got a little lonely. So I figured I would check out the Mini Bowl. Um, loved the breed, loved the energy. Um, wanted something in a smaller package. So I was searching for a Mini Bowl and happened to, happened to find one in Hungary and she came out here. She was gonna be my pet and friend for Ziggy and um, we fell into the show world. So we started showing and I don't know, it was a lot of fun. We met a lot of great people, um, you know, traveling around, going to shows, a lot of training, a lot of fun. I had a, a mentor in the beginning that, uh, you know, taught me a lot about the breed and, and um, and then I decided to breed Mila when she was, I think, two. 63 days, 65 days later, we had seven puppies. <laughs> so it was just a really, a really amazing experience. They're just, you know, little bundles of joy everywhere. They're pretty amazing. And um, most of them got placed into wonderful homes, including one that lives with my mom in Canada. The next one was, uh, Piper, I was looking to get another another female. I wasn't sure if I was gonna breed Mila again, and and uh, there's a breeder in Germany, Stephanie Prugeau. Her her kennel name is uh, Bull Creeks. So we arranged, I flew out there, and uh, fell in love with Piper and brought her home. The Mini Bull is a typical terrier. Uh, really courageous, outgoing, feisty, full of fire. They're, uh, they always keep you busy, but I think the mini bull is definitely on its own. It's, you need a lot of patience. They're extra courageous. They're extra bullheaded. They're, you know, they don't hear you most of the time, only when they want to. In the standard, they're supposed to be 10 to 14 inches high, uh, way, like 25 to 28 to 35 pounds. Um, they're extremely comical. They're courageous. They're they're just full of fire, and they just make you laugh every day. They're really, really pretty amazing little dogs. The breed's working purpose uh, are ratters. Many of them are very prey-driven, which makes them really fabulous ratters. The difference between the Bull Terrier and the Miniature Bull Terrier, you know, it's a big power punch in a smaller package. Uh, with my experience of having my two Bull Terriers now, Cherry being the only one, and then the rest of the Minis, God, they're both still full of energy and, and a little nutty and comical, and you know, the Minis are a smaller package. The Mini Bull Terrier is a great pet but I feel you need an active lifestyle and more than anything, a lot of patience, loads of patience. Uh, they, need, they need a lot of discipline, but a lot of love. A lot of discipline, firm, but in a loving way. Their feelings tend to get hurt and you need a lot of time. You can't just put the dog in the crate all day and, and go to work. They need, they need a lot of constant attention and love and discipline. I typically like to place my puppies with an experienced dog owner, but if you're committed to the breed and, and are going to be around and can discipline and can research the breed, obviously before you even look into this breed, um, they're, they're extremely challenging, really, really challenging. And if you're dedicated enough and around enough, I think you might be able to make it with this breed. <laughs> 
but if you're if you're not around much and have no experience with dogs it may not be the best breed for you so a thing that these bull terrier and many bull terriers do is trancing it's really interesting they'll they'll walk slowly their eyes are glazed over they usually walk under a bush the bush is touching their back and they're just completely glazed over um, and they could do that for a minute or five minutes and they just trance it's the if you're not familiar with it, it's the oddest thing. It's really odd. My first bull terrier, before I knew anything about trancing, would do it in a black car. And I thought, what's he doing? Is he looking at himself? What is this dog doing? Uh, but it's trancing. And it's, it's just a little crazy characteristic that they have. The type of living situation for the mini bulls, I think is, it, it could be pretty, and pretty much anything. You could live in a house. I think an apartment would be fine. As long as you have enough time for this dog and to exercise it and to walk it and to just play with it and have a lot of time, I think any, any home situation could be great. I recommend if you do have a yard, it must be completely secure. These guys can find a way to get out anywhere. They will dig their way under. Some of them are more prey driven than others. Uh, they can dig, they can jump over the fence. Um, it just needs to be really, really secure and always, always have them on leash. You don't know what, you know, a rat, a mouse, anything, a squirrel could come by. And I know with one of mine, she's so incredibly prey driven, she would be gone. Or another good point about the living situation is pools. These guys tend to sink, so they could drown so easily. So anyone with a pool, I recommend having some sort of barrier or fencing around it or being supervised 100%. This breed can be interesting with dealing with other animals and people and whatnot. A lot of it is temperament. Um, my first bull terrier, uh, we had a cat, so he was absolutely fine with the cat. He grew up with the cat, he lived with the cat. They were fine. Um, my mini bull, on the other hand, when she came in, the cat had already passed away, so she hasn't grown up with the cat, but if a cat came by, she'd probably want to chase it. I don't think she'd eat it, but she'd chase it. But it could be a little, it could be a little iffy. I, I recommend if, you know, if you have other animals, bring that dog in as a puppy so they can all acclimate together. So this breed obviously have a really good temperament. Um, mine have always been very good around people and other animals so far with Mila, she would absolutely be passive and roll over for every dog or person she met. Um, Samson is a little more aloof, so it's very important to socialize and train this breed. I, I feel just like any breed also, but these guys do actually need extra time and extra socialization. And it's just important to do all your puppies, get them around as many, obviously when all their shots have been administered and whatnot but get them around as many different people, different animals, different surroundings, different um, sounds. Like with my puppies, from, from the very beginning, from, they can, from when they can start hearing, I play all sorts of different sounds. There's all sorts of apps and everything, but we do kids crying, uh, or kids playing, babies crying. I throw pots and pans around. I run the blender, I run my soda stream, I, you know, jump up and down on the floor. I play music. I'm just trying to get them acclimated to as many different things as possible. It builds a lot of confidence and, and just enables them to be comfortable in, in other surroundings. This breed is definitely not easy to train, hence the so much time, so much love, so much patience, loads of patience. Um, you know, I always do puppy classes and training classes with all my dogs and they could get it in five minutes and be great with it, and a week later, they've forgotten everything you've taught them, even if you work with them every day. They're just so bullheaded and, and funny. They just, one minute, they'll do anything and everything for you, and the next minute, they'll ignore you. So the grooming for this breed is pretty easy. That's what I love most. Um, you can brush them once or twice a week. They have a short, flat, harsh coat, uh, should be glossy but it's super easy to groom, super, super easy. Um, bathing them is fine, brushing them, 
you know, taking care of their teeth. I dremel their nails. So the health issues for this breed are heart, kidneys, uh, PLL, which is primary lens luxation, uh, something new called LAD, which is lethal acrodermatitis, which thankfully we just got a test for it in January, so we can test all of our animals and any responsible breeder and should be testing everything before having litters, uh, making sure both the dam and the sire are both tested. A life expectancy of this breed is probably 11 to 15 years. Samson is the only male I have in my house right now. He's a white miniature bull terrier. He is a guest from Germany. His full name is Bull Creeks Bombastic. He comes from a breeder, Stephanie Prugeau, and he's temporarily on loan with <laughs> on loan here, and I've just fallen in love with him. He's he's on the bigger side of being a mini, but he's just gorgeous. Uh, loads of bone. Um, he's probably about 45 pounds, maybe. 16 inches high and just a lot of personality and just the best temperament ever. Samson has a lot of European titles and we are currently working on getting his championship here. I think we have 13 points towards his championship. Mila, she's from Hungary. Her full name is Eger Very Mini Lady Gaga. I didn't name her, but <laughs> she just turned six. She's about 33 pounds and about 14 and three quarter, 14 and three quarters high. She's my very first mini and my second bully breed. Mila's a grand champion. She's got her rally novice. She also has her canine good citizen and her advanced canine good citizen. Piper is also from Germany. She came from Bull Creeks and Stephanie Prugeau. She's, uh, she just turned one. We've been working on her championship and we're almost there. She's got her majors and almost a championship. She's, I haven't measured her, but I think she's about 14 inches and she's about 29 pounds. Cherry, who is a notorious little red Corvette at Triumph. She is my second Bull Terrier, first Bull Terrier show dog. I flew out to Massachusetts uh, to some friends, Phil and Amy Jaspers. Just really wanted to fly out there and learn, learn from them because they've been doing this a really, really long time. And so I went out there with no intention of getting a, a dog and absolutely fell in love with Cherry and brought her home and started showing her. She's, uh, she's about 52 pounds and she actually is a champion and we're working on her grand champion. This breed is absolutely amazing. I'm just in love with them. I fell into showing almost five years ago, and God, what an amazing hobby. I've met so many incredible people. I've been able to spend all this time with my dogs. We travel, you know, we do we do fun stuff like barn hunt and lure coursing and, and just the show aspect and meeting the people aspect. It's brought a lot of joy to my life, and I'm really thankful that I found this breed. They're just, they make my life. They just enrich it so much more and this breed is just so amazing.